Hey Nam fam, this is Desiree Coleman with Monster Peace Kennel, home of the real Nam thing, the one of the, along with my husband, Percy Daly, the founders of the North American Mastiff. And right here I have two litters. I have three week old puppies. These are three week right here. They are Cookie and Rhino. And I have another one, which is a Blue Harlequin. Zoom in on him real quick. And uh, I was just holding these because they're they're a little bit rowdy right now to keep them a little bit quiet. But um, so Cookies was born. Today is the 30th of December. Shh, 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 shh. And uh, so Cookies were born December 6th. And Mangoes were born 12-10. So the chocolate ones, <laughs> they're so rowdy. So the chocolate ones are all, the chocolate and fawns are born on the 10th of December and they are two weeks of age and I'm taking deposits on all of these and a few I will do a pet price on, on cookies. I'm going to do all pets on cookies, which there's only two of them that are available with cookie. This is this black male. He is available. Let me sit. He's going to be a really nice dog. He's a really good looking black male. He reminds me a lot of Lennox. And if you can zoom in on his face, he does have that uh, ridge. <laughs> that ridge on their nose right there. And this is Cookie's very, very last litter. She did have some health complications after their birth. So Mango is now a surrogate for these puppies. And I'm going to follow up with some videos showing Mango feeding them. And this is my pick female that I'm keeping. This is a tawny female. I'm keeping this from Cookie and Rhino. And the purpose of this breeding was to get a foundation male or female. And I did get what I wanted, which is this female, which is a really nice foundation female right here. She's got head, body. She has it all. So after I health test her, she will more than likely move on to the program as long as everything checks out with her. So I'm going to put down this little whiny baby and go with the other puppies. <laughs> Alright, this is last but not least Cookie Puppy, three weeks old, born December 6th. This is a blue Harlequin male, and I will be selling him as a pet. And just because it's a pet, he'll be a little bit cheaper, but pet price means, again, you will have a pet. You will get a certificate of ownership. But basically, this is a really tight line breeding on Linox. So I really don't want these dogs bred. I want to make sure that they're bred responsibly. So if he did go to a breeding home, I would have to know you personally and to know that he was going with somebody that would breed him responsibly. But basically, like I said, I was trying to make some foundation dogs that I could keep back, but he's got a really beautiful pattern and uh, he does have a split face. Really beautiful dog. I have uh, several people inquiring about him and a good friend of mine that also has another dog from Cookie. He might possibly be getting him, but he is a really cute little dog. And like I said, Mango is a surrogate, so, you know, she's feeding them, but they're not like her own. Let's just put it that way. She's doing what she needs to do like a good girl. Okay, so let's get on in here. So I'm gonna start off, there's only one female in Mango's litter. So these are two week old puppies. And this is the only female. This is a chocolate brindle female. And again, this is a two week old monster piece creation. She is a monster. Her eyes are open. She's two going on three weeks old. And you can start to see the brindle coming out in her pattern. If you could see the lightness of her. I don't know how the lighting is but she's gonna be really beautiful. 
Uh, these are Mango and SOB pups, two weeks old. She is available. The only female in the litter. So these will be for breeding or I can do pets, whichever. But these are some nice breeding dogs right here. If you were looking for a foundation female to breed with, she would be a really nice pick. And so I'm going to do the only other solid in here because she was a solid. And this one is a fawn male. And he, these are the only solids in the litter. He is an absolute beast of a dog right here. This is a two-week-old pup. Really nice little dog right here, which is funny because uh, Mango just spoils these guys. And they finally started kind of moving around because... They don't even have to crawl to their mom to eat. She'll lay down wherever they need to go. That's why they're so fat and plump because she comes to the puppies. The puppies don't go to her. She spoils her babies so much. This is a fawn male. Two weeks old, available. And I will do a pet price on him. All right, so I'm going to go into, this is a red Merle male. And as most people know, red Merles usually fade with time. So as you can see the Merle, zoom in on the back, the Merle on the back. Because shades of fawn and red, Merle does not show up on. So as you can see, it is Merle, but it will disappear. So we'll do a pet price on him. Look at his little cute little face. He's so fat and chubby. Look at his little nose. I love him. I love this guy so much. Look at the wrinkles on his nose and his face. He is awesome. Honestly, he's to die for his little wrinkles. I love his wrinkles. <laughs> but look at the ridge on his nose. See how there's a, a hump right there? That's how you could tell that a dog's going to be a really big dog is their muzzle and the ridge on their nose. He's gonna be really nice. Stout, probably stout more than likely. I would, they might get some height, but he's gonna be a really nice stout dog right here. Red Merle male. All right, here is a chocolate male. He's so cute. He's so fluffy too, I love him. This is puppy fur, and uh, one of the breeds we put in there, uh, he snatched back from them. No, he will not be a fluffy. He's just gonna have a little bit more dense of a coat. And Lennox had this type of coat on him, so I'm thinking a snatch back from Lennox's lines, but these always end up being one of the best puppies. <laughs> All the ones with fur like this. Mark my words, because Lennox was just like this. Cowboy was just like this. And I kept Cowboy, and I kept Lennox, and they did not disappoint. So anytime I see dogs like this, with this fur type, I always kind of keep an eye on them, and I want to see what they look like and what they mature, because he's going to be super nice. I really like this little guy. He's so soft. But this will fall off. It'll he'll, His coat will be a little bit more denser than the rest. This is just puppy down. And this one sold to Brian. I figured I'd show him. But that's the, one of the reasons why, you know, you can DM me, you can email me, and let me know what I got going on. And if the puppies are of age and I feel that they're healthy, you can put down a deposit before I open up the list. So this was pick mail, and he secured his deposit on him and he is sold congratulations brian welcome to the nam fam as so we say but yeah he's a real nice puppy i love his muzzle on him love his eyes he's beautiful all right guys thank you for tuning in please like and subscribe my videos and uh any questions you can comment down below because it also helps the algorithm to help put you know project my movies my videos out there to other people. So the more you guys comment, ask me questions, the more I can expand my channel and the more these beautiful dogs can be out there to the public. Again, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.
this little furball right here, he is a chocolate merle male. And like I said, he's not going to be fluffy. He just can have more of a dense coat than the others. And to, let me see his back. Lennox had this type of coat. And also, uh, Cowboy had the same exact coat. So his, his fur will be slightly longer than the rest, but not... You wouldn't be, you're not going to be able to tell. This is just puppy down right here. But this is a chocolate Merle male, and he is two weeks old. SOB and Mango, and he is available. This is a two week old fawn male from Mango and SOB. He's a little fat chunk of dunk, too. And I will do a pet price on him. He is the only solid male in this litter. It'll be really, really super nice. This whole litter turned out nice. Mango just spoils her pups. And this is a massive puppy for two weeks of age. As you've seen, the last litter from SOB, they sold out pretty quick. And they all had amazing structures. So if you guys look at my YouTube video, you can see what type of puppies he produces. Really, really beautiful pups. So this is not a litter you guys want to sleep on. He's yawning. Don't sleep on this pup right here because he's going to be amazing. This is a red Merle male from SOB and Mango. He is available. Let me see his butt. His butt. And as we know, Merle does not show on fawns and red. So you see the Merle on his back. It was darker, but as he gets older, it will disappear more and more. I will do a pet price on him. But again, if I do a pet price, he still can produce Merle's, so it won't be super cheap, but it can be a pet price. Let me see his face. He's got a really beautiful face. Turn to the side. He's got that, uh, that hump on his nose. He's got a really good wrinkle to him as well. I really like this little guy right here. Red Merle male. This is a chocolate brindle female. She is the only female in the litter. She is two weeks old, mango and SOB. Really cute little dog right here. She's gonna have slight wrinkle. And I could do a pet price on her, but she's really nice. Uh, you know, to select homes only if I'm gonna do a pet price. This is a chocolate brindle female. Her eyes just opened up, and this is a big, huge female for two weeks. Last but not least, Cookie and Rhino Puppy. This is Cookie's very, very last litter. This is a blue Harlequin male, and he has a very sweet disposition. He has a lot of white on this puppy. Let me see his back. Very, very beautiful. And that's that black one whining. Was the other side of him, which is funny, but <laughs> Cookie had a little bit of a, a hiccup in her health, so Mango is fostering these pups, but this is a three-week-old blue Harlequin. This is a three-week-old black male from Cookie and Rhino. I will do a pet price on him. And he is a sweet little guy. He is a little bit whiny. But um, I see him as having a little bit of drive on him. Let me see the other side. Because he is, he is quite a talker, I will say. He loves to tar talk, whine, and he does already bark. This is a black male, Cookie and Rhino. Three week, three week old. They're born December 6th.